Yo, what up, y'all? Phil James, yet again, coming back at you. It is December 29th, 2017 still. And it is... Well, I'm going to wait to say what time it is. All right, there we go. 5.14 p.m. All right. So, if you guys have not heard about what's going on this month of December and January of next year, prepare to be astounded because this is quite intense. So, December 3rd, we had a super moon, right? We did. Pretty bright, pretty outrageous. So, January 1st, we will have another full super moon, okay? And then, to top that off, We'll have a second super moon at the end of January. So, three super moons back to back to back. The third one, okay, so the, the, the super moon at the end of January will be a super blue and blood moon. All right, do you realize what that means? So. It'll be at its closest perigee or, per, or whatever it's called, perigee. And that means the moon will look, you know, what do they say? 15, 24% bigger or something, 14% bigger. So the moon's going to look bigger, one. It's going to be a full moon. And not only that, it will be the second time there was a full moon in the month of January, which makes it a blue moon. And then the third thing, it's going to be a full lunar eclipse. So in other words, a blood moon. So we're looking at a full super blue blood moon. Why am I talking about it? Luke 21, 25. There will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that hits it just about dead on, I would say. Because August 20, uh, what was it, August 25th? Or whatever, August 30th, right around there. Yeah, it was 25th. We had the full, the full solar eclipse. Or August 21st, I mean, I'm sorry. We had the full solar eclipse, that was very strange, all the occult numerology that I made a video about and talked about. Quite strange, if you ask me. So that happens. And now, December 3rd, we just had a supermoon, and they're already kind of rare occurrences. And we're about to have another one on January 1st, and then a third one at the very end of January. And there will be a meteor shower right in between there at the beginning of January, like 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. The Eastern Hemisphere will see the meteor shower, I do believe. Also, the Eastern hemis the eastern side will also see the full supermoon um, December 2nd and 3rd, I believe. But we got to remember the amount of craziness that this is. We are talking three full supermoons back to back to back and then on top of that we're also talking about the third of which being a full super moon but it's also a blood moon and at the same time it's a blood blue moon so second full moon in one calendar month and a full lunar eclipse. That's absolute madness. Those are all three very rare occurrences. You know, you'll catch them in your life, but we're talking very rare for all three of such events to line up and coincide directly. Now, if you would like some more information about that, supermoon ahead at next full moon, okay? So this is just a page I pulled up, Earth Sky. Um, if you want some info, I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can read up and know what days to see it. A supermoon 
is a new or full moon closely coinciding with per, uh, with the per, perigee, or perigee, the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. An astrologer, Richard Nolly, coined the term supermoon over 30 years ago, but now many in astronomy use it as well. Are supermoons hype in our opinion? Gosh no. Just modern folklore. They've entered the popular culture um, and they can cause real physical effects, such as particularly high and low tides. According to the definition of supermoon coined by Nolly, the full moon of December was 2017's only full supermoon. January 2018 will have two full su two full moons, and both will be supermoons. So the second one's considered a blue moon, like I said, because it's the second full moon in one calendar month. And then it shows you the difference in size, you know, between a supermoon and a normal moon. All right. So, like I said, this is, you know, all your time zones, so you guys and you know myself can know when and where to be looking and what time I think East Eastern Standard Time area where I'm at here in Ohio and whatnot I do believe or right around there I think we're gonna have to be um, waking up real early in the morning or staying up till early morning of this series of three supermoons one in December two in January um, these will be the closest and largest supermoons of 2018. Alright, sorry here, I'm making sure I get to a part that's good to read. Alright, alright, sorry guys, I'm trying to... Not what I thought that was. Psych. <clears throat> I must have had a different site up because I had a video about the supermoons and everything. Anything you might want to know. <clears throat> but anyways, full lunar eclipse, supermoon, and it will be a blue moon all at the same time here at the end of January. So yeah, I highly recommend be looking at it. Because, like I said, Luke 21, 25, there will be signs in the heavens. Signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Guys, I would definitely say we are at the time where it's time to really start thinking about actions and which way you want to take your life. Because this right here definitely seems kind of rare and definitely seems pretty insane I'm sorry if this isn't going very good I'm kind of not doing too hot right now um, but yeah so okay yeah so here some people will call the full supermoon on January 31st a blue moon too that's because it'll be the second of two full moons in one calendar month moreover the January 31st supermoon will stage a total eclipse of the moon so once again a full super blue blood moon very very rare occurrence for all three of those to line up directly and this is right after we just had two supermoons, two full supermoons. So yeah, I would definitely recommend to be looking 
and uh, here's the time chart right here on this page like I said I will leave you a link in the description so yeah all right hope everybody has a good weekend hopefully I'll be able to start my other video tonight and I'll catch you all a little later peace y'all